Hello, everybody. My name is David Royer. I'm going to be hosting this webinar, and we're going to get started. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you for uh, taking your time to be on today. We're going to be talking about techniques that you can begin to use immediately to effectively get involved in a 401k, 403b, TSP rollover business. Uh, the webinar is scheduled to last for approximately 35 minutes, and it will be recorded. And for those of you that uh, would like a copy of the recording, I'm going to be giving you contact information uh, toward the end of the webinar. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, back in 2002, there was some significant changes in the tax code that affected IRA distribution planning. And in 2002, I began to build the course Keys to the IRA Kingdom. And this is an IRA distribution training course. In 2010, I decided to put the course online to make it more accessible to more people. Uh, to date, we've had over 5,000 advisors attend the Keys to the IRA Kingdom. We're going to talk a little bit about that. But primarily, we're going to be talking about techniques that you can use to roll over 401ks, 403bs, TSP plans, etc. Whether you sell annuities, uh, whether you're in the managed money business, the life insurance business, all of this information is going to be pertinent to you. Uh, so with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, incidentally, uh, this class is sponsored by Insurance WebEx. Uh, they're well known for web classes. They are America's leading source of educational web classes. So thank you for your sponsorship. Uh, the name of my company is DLCA Enterprises, LLC. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you a little bit about what DLCA is all about. We are in the business of showing you how to sell more annuities, more life insurance, and more managed money to those that own qualified accounts. And that includes IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, TSPs, and all other qualified retirement accounts. And we built uh, two tools to help you do that. Uh, one is the course I just spoke about, the Keys to the IRA Kingdom. It's an online IRA distribution training course. And we, we also have developed a book called Top 10 IRA Mistakes and How to Avoid IRS Tax Traps. Now, the course, Keys to the IRA Kingdom, is really all about IRA and 401k rollover training systems. And the book, Top 10 IRA Mistakes, is an IRA 401k rollover marketing system. This has been referred to by many people as a seminar in a book. And I know a lot of you out there listening today have been involved in seminars in the past. Wouldn't it be great if you could have an individual actually sit down and read that seminar and really absorb it? And that's what the book Top 10 IRA Mistakes is really all about. So to begin with, let's talk about why would you want to focus on the qualified market? And I'm going to give you a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, starting at the top, uh, 401k plans have all but replaced defined benefit pension plans. You remember the days of working for General Motors for 20 years, and you'd retire, you'd have a party, you'd get a gold watch, and you got an income for the rest of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, those days are gone. And we have 10,000 boomers every day that are making IRA and 401k rollover decisions. Now, just to show you how important these 401ks and 403bs are, most boomers' 401k plans are worth more than the equity in their homes. That's how important this money is to them. We know over 70% of 401ks and 403b plans allow for what's called an in-service rollover, meaning beginning at age 59 and a half, those people that are in those mutual funds, in those 401ks, and they're concerned about the market being at an all-time high, they can roll that money out of the 401k into an IRA and continue to make deposits and continue to enjoy company matching funds. We have over 4,000 seniors turning 70 and a half every single day with no formal distribution plan. And according to LIMRA, there's approximately $16.9 trillion in qualified accounts, and that's expected to grow to over $22 trillion by the year 2030. And also according to LIMRA, the IRA rollover market is expected to increase from its current $515 billion a year, or to $515 billion a year by the year 2018. So getting back to the question, why would you want to focus on the qualified market? Frankly, the answer is that's where the opportunity is. More about that. As I said earlier, defined benefit pension plans are a thing of the past. Now, don't see that as a negative thing. That's actually, for folks in our industry, that's a positive thing. 
because those defined benefit pension plans, really, with few exceptions, that money couldn't be moved. But now that there's been this huge shift to 401k plans, this is now money available, and there are people out there, frankly, that need your advice. Most boomers today are going to retire with a 401k, could be a 403b, TSP, et cetera, and Social Security. So Social Security and 401k plans have become the hot buttons for boomers. And very soon, these boomers are going to represent the majority of the retirement market. So getting back to that question, why would you want to focus your practice on the qualified market? The answer is very simple. It's where the retirement market is growing. Folks, it's where the growth is. So here's a chart that's going to show the trend of the number of people age 65 and over in the United States. Now, it goes all the way back to 1900. I know that's historic. It's not important to you. But it's projected through the year 2030. So if you look at where we are today, we've got roughly 10,000 boomers that are turning 65 every single day. In less than 10 years, they are going to control the overwhelming wealth of this nation. So folks, that makes this the biggest event in the history of the financial services industry. And today is really all about how do you position your practice to take advantage of this quickly moving and growing demographic. <clears throat> and we're going to be talking about accumulation versus distribution. So let me just give a mention about that. You know, during the accumulation phase, ladies and gentlemen, life was very simple for the consumer. They really only had three considerations. One, am I eligible to contribute? Number two, how much can I contribute to this plan? And number three, where do I want to put the money? Life was very simple. Why? Because this wasn't IRS payday. They were actually getting a tax deduction or a tax break on their contributions and or employer matching funds. But ladies and gentlemen, when they retire or turn 70 and a half, they're going to be forced to take distributions out of these plans. And folks, now it's IRS payday, and the Internal Revenue Code is strewn with landmines that can be very costly and often irreversible. So the distribution phase is much more complicated than the accumulation phase. So let's talk a little bit about your new prospect. As I said earlier, they're going to have two primary sources of retirement income. It could be their 401k, IRA, TSP, 403b plan, and Social Security. And with these plans, they're going to face three challenges. The first one is taxes. Uh, nobody knows where the tax code is going to go. Uh, we've heard some good news come out of Washington. Maybe we're going to go from seven down to three tax brackets, but that's yet to be seen. The other challenge is risk. What happens if they take losses? Are they going to have to delay their retirement? You know, I remember back in 2008 where people were in their late 60s, they were planning to retire or had retired, and tried to rejoin the workforce in a society where unemployment was roughly 13%. So that's a difficult job for them. And then the third thing that can impact their retirement savings is going to be inflation. So if we look on the 401k slash IRA, and incidentally, when I say 401k IRA, I just don't want to have to go through that whole laundry list, 401k, 403b, TSP, 457 plans, SEPs, IRA. So when I say 401k IRA, I mean all of those things. They face all three of these challenges. Risk. A lot of this money is in 401ks, and folks, most of it's in mutual funds. Inflation. What's the value of that money going to be when they retire? And of course, 401k and IRA money is the most taxed money that they'll ever have. On the uh, Social Security side of the equation, they have two major concerns. One is taxation. Are they going to wind up paying tax on as much as 85% of their Social Security? Or are there maneuvers that could be made to reduce that? And also timing. When is the best time to begin your Social Security benefits? And folks, if you're reading the same things I'm reading, if I know you have internet because you're on this webinar, Folks, today's boomers are looking for somebody that can answer some of these tough questions. Give them good advice about their taxes, the risk they're taking, what's the impact of inflation. They're looking for the right advisor. So where the qualified money is is just as important as how much qualified money there is. And this is very critical. Uh, what we learn from the Investment Company Institute, 47% of that roughly $17 trillion is in mutual funds. An additional 36% is in other securities. Uh, banks and thrifts have approximately 10%. And insurance companies have a mere 8% of that $17 trillion 
in the form of annuity reserves. If you had the techniques to show your prospects why, when they're going into the distribution phase, insurance company products, and in some cases managed money, are going to be the best place for at least part of their retirement accounts. Now, if you add together the 47% that's in mutual funds to the 36% that's in other securities, you'll see that 83% of roughly $17 trillion of America's retirement money is at one form or another at risk on Wall Street. This is creating a tremendous opportunity for annuity producers, life producers, and managed money producers. We're going to get to that in just a moment. So what this uh, 35 or so minutes is going to be about is how do you become the IRA rollover expert in your market area. Now I want to give you this disclaimer right up front that there's no misunderstanding about why I'm talking to you today. I am not a field marketing organization. I'm not an IMO. You are not being recruited. This is strictly about training. This is designed to help you get in front of qualified prospects that have these large IRAs, 401ks, and other qualified retirement plans. It's going to be about how you capture these accounts and how you can be involved in affecting those rollovers. And how do you become an expert at in-service 401k rollovers when your prospects and clients turn age 59 and a half? How do you use IRA and 401k rollover opportunities to grow your practice? So folks, we've developed a couple of things. Uh, part of it is the book, Top 10 IRA Mistakes. This book will disturb your clients. They're going to have questions when they read it. They're going to see the mistakes they're making. They'll be able to identify with those mistakes. And it will drive them back to you to get that second opinion. And then the other part of the equation is training. I've always, always felt that training, that education, is the foundation of growing a good financial service practice. And we offer 10 hours of online IRA distribution training. And ladies and gentlemen, that's my course, Keys to the IRA Kingdom. <clears throat> Incidentally, if I didn't mention that before, we've had in excess of 5,000 advisors uh, attend the Keys to the IRA Kingdom. And it's helped them change their practice and help them refocus on where the money is. So what we're going to be doing today is talking about how do you master 401k, 403b, and TSP rollovers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one chapter of the book. I'm just going to highlight that chapter, and that's from the book, Top 10 IRA Mistakes. <clears throat> so today's featured topic is how do you convert 401ks, 403bs, TS plans, etc., to annuities and or managed money? What are the techniques that will help you do that? And I think you're going to be surprised because it is surprisingly simple, and it's based on pure logic. So this is Chapter 8 from the book. And we actually call them mistakes, so it's mistake number eight. And mistake number eight is not moving your 401k, 403b, TSP, or other qualified plans to a more flexible IRA when you retire or turn age 59 and a half. So I'm going to slow down a little bit now because I want you to absorb all of this. Folks, the retirement assets uh, uh, in this country, and, and this is uh, government-sponsored plans, calculated at the fourth quarter of 2016, and again, this information comes from the Investment Company Institute, we learned that there's approximately $4.8 trillion in 401k plans. And I want to tell you something funny about that. You know, when somebody leaves the company or they have a break in service, typically their last stop is going to be the HR department, and one of the biggest questions on their mind is going to be, well, what do I need to do with my 401k, or what do I need to do with my 403b, etc.? They always get the same answer. You don't have to do anything. You can leave it right where it is. You don't have to do anything until you turn age 70 and a half, and then you have to start taking distributions. And so they walk out there happy. You know, when you tell somebody they don't have to do anything, no action required, that's the answer they wanted to hear, and so that's exactly what they've done. For the most part, nothing. So there's $4.8 trillion in 401k plans, uh, $905 billion in 403b plans, $467 billion in federal employee retirement systems, we call them TSPs, and $282 billion in 400, uh, 457 plans. And folks, what I want to show you today is all of this money is movable, and there are good reasons why your clients and your prospects should be considering moving all or at least part of that money. 
to get to the bottom of this, we need to know why do people participate in 401ks, 403bs, and PSP plans. Have you ever wondered why these plans are so successful and why the majority of employees, they could be federal employees, state employees, or just employees in private companies, teachers, etc., why did they participate? Folks, I want to submit this. There is only one reason to participate in these plans, and here it is. Employer matching funds. Ladies and gentlemen, that's free money. There are plans that will match up to 50%, some even higher, 60 or 70% of a certain percentage of the employee's contributions. And folks, it's free money. The only way they can get that free money is to participate in the plan, and that is exactly why they did participate. But here's the catch. When the contributions stop, the free money ends. And so the point I want to make, the only reason to be involved in these company or federal or state-sponsored plans is to get the free money. But ladies and gentlemen, what they don't realize is when they stop making contributions, that could be a change in service, uh, that could uh, be a retirement, uh, that free money ends. And so the only reason to remain in that plan has now been taken away forever. So what should they do? Folks, when they stop making contributions, it's time to get their money out of the plan. That's the simple logic. So I'm going to repeat it. There's only one reason to be involved in that 401k, and that's because my employer is giving me company matching funds. It's free money. It's the best game in town. But when I stop making contributions and the free money ends, it's time to get out of that plan. There's no longer a reason to be involved in that plan. <laughs> so what should you do with your 401k, 403b, or other types of plans when you retire, have a break in service, or turn age 59 and a half? Well, it's really not that complicated. Uh, essentially, they have two options. You can leave your funds in the plan, or you can roll the plan to a more flexible IRA. So let's examine both options. Let's assume they decide to leave their money in the plan. Well, here are the things that they're going to deal with. <laughs> plan guidelines can restrict their access to their own money. See, these plans have a rule book. And folks, or you can call it a playbook. And if it's not in the playbook, you can't run the play. And if that playbook says you can only take money out under these circumstances, then those are the rules. Also, the investment options are limited. They're typically only mutual funds. And some plans have, like for example, TSP plans have seven different options. Uh, larger company plans may have 20 or 30 options. But they're all pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's some form of a mutual fund. There's also limited distribution flexibility for the children and grandchildren. And the reason I say that is 401k, 403b, and similar plans don't offer the stretch option. You have to take the money out to take advantage of the multi-generational IRA. And most of them, even though that now they can, are not yet offering the Roth conversion. So that's some of the downside. So let's examine what happens if you roll the plan to an IRA. So that's option number two. We've decided get out of that 401k, take control of this money, roll it to a more flexible IRA. Well, the first thing you're going to have to deal with is you're going to hear them say, well, if I take the money out of the 401k, they have a 20% mandatory withholding to pay tax. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it just isn't true. As a matter of fact, if they do a custodian to custodian transfer, meaning it goes directly from the custodian of their 401k directly to the new custodian of their choosing, that's called a direct rollover and that avoids and eliminates the 20% mandatory withholding. So that's one hurdle we're already over. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the money is going to continue to grow tax deferred. So from a tax standpoint, there's really very little difference between a 401k and an IRA because it's still tax deferred. But now your client can control where the money is invested and ladies and gentlemen, the entire universe of investments becomes available to them when they get out of that 401k and roll it into a more flexible IRA. That could be an annuity. It could be managed money. It could be a lot of different things, but now it's their choice. And IRAs offer both the Roth conversion and they offer the stretch option. So that when you compare leaving the money in the plan versus taking it out of the plan, that alone is enough to encourage somebody to want to do that. But when you add to that the fact and make your consumer aware of this, there was only one reason ever to be in that plan in the first place. 
It wasn't tax deferral. You can get that in an IRA. It was company or, or government matching funds. And when that's gone, there is no reason to remain in that plan any longer. Now, another great opportunity is the age 59 and a half rollover opportunity, or it's also called the in-service transfer. Folks, all 403Bs and TSP plans allow what's called an in-service rollover beginning at age 59 and a half. Best estimate I can get you for 401k plans is approximately 75% of 401k plans also allow an in-service rollover. And again, that's beginning at age 59 and a half. So think of how many people out there that are over 59 and a half, between maybe 59 and a half and 66 or 67, they're still working. They don't know that they can move that money out of the plan. All company-sponsored plans allow a rollover when there's a break in service. So this money is really available pretty much beginning at age 59 and a half or a break in service. But here's the fun part. They can still be working. They can take the principal of their money out of the plan, roll it to an IRA, get all the advantages of that, and still continue to make contributions to the plan and continue to enjoy those company matching funds. But now they're doing that without the risk of the principal that's taken years and years to build up. So what we're going to talk about right now is the opportunity. Folks, most uh, 401k and 403b and TS plans offer only mutual funds. The markets are at an all-time high. There's a lot of concern out there, and there's a lot of angst. What happens if we have a market meltdown? What happens if we have a repeat of 2001? What happens if we have a repeat of 2008? And we're at an all-time high. So in-service transfers to an IRA can protect that principle from a market downturn. So essentially, the participant can take, let's say they have two or three or $400,000 in their 401k, and they're over 59 and a half, they can roll that to an IRA and then continue to make contributions to the plan and continue to get company matching funds. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the best of both worlds. It allows them to protect that principle that they have been saving all of these years and still continue to participate in the plan via company matching funds. So folks, I'm going to kind of close it out here and then we just got a few more minutes. 401k and 403b planning essentially can eliminate very costly mistakes, not only for the participant, but also for the participant's family. <clears throat> so folks, that was a very simple way using pure logic. And again, that's chapter number eight in the book, Top 10 IRA Mistakes. And that chapter has been responsible for moving large amounts of monies out of 401ks, 403bs, and similar plans into IRAs. So let's talk about uh, IRA rollover marketing and uh, IRA rollover training. Um, we we'll so spend a little time talking about the book, uh, Top 10 IRA Mistakes, and how it can help you do this. And incidentally, this book is updated annually. It is copyrighted, recopyrighted every January. It's been a very effective tool in building relationships with CPAs and other professionals. So I'll say a word or two about that. You know, most CPAs, I see a lot of advertising about that. We have a CPA program. You can cultivate these CPAs. They're going to refer you to their clients. So you're, you're, you're going to sell a lot of product, whether it be annuity, managed money, or whatever, life insurance. Well, folks, it just really isn't accurate. Frankly, most CPAs do not want to refer you. And the reason they don't want to refer you is because they don't want you to make a mistake that costs them a client. Now, there are going to be some that would want to refer you, but the problem is, most CPAs, they live in the tax world. It's a very complex world. They're very well educated. They know what they're doing. But they are not effective in giving you a referral. In other words, even if they wanted to give you a referral, they may not know how. This is where the book comes in handy. A lot of the people that are using my book, give them to CPAs or other t professionals, tax attorneys, elder law attorneys. Say, hey, when your client comes in, if they've got a qualified plan, give them this book. It's about a three-hour read. Uh, my contact information is going to be on the back. Just have them give me a call, and we'll see if we can do something to help them. That makes it easy. It teaches them how to give you that referral. So, folks, this is America's number one IRA rollover prospecting book. It's estimated that $324 billion rolls rolled from plans to IRAs each year. And Americans have close to $24 trillion in retirement assets. That includes qualified and non-qualified. And there are 10,000 boomers that are facing rollover decisions every day. And ladies and gentlemen, anybody who's 59 and a half and over, 
that's still in that company sponsored plan, it's probably because they don't know that they can get that money out, get it safe, and still make contributions and get company matching funds. This book is designed to help convert your IRA prospects into clients. And it's going to help them understand why getting a second opinion from you can save them thousands of dollars in IRS penalties, prevent rapid taxation, and reduce excessive fees and loads. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a, it's a grass allergy season where I am, so <laughs> pardon for the distraction. At the end of each chapter, there's a place, the book is interactive now, there's a place where they can take notes. And this particular one's about the beneficiary chapter. Uh, they can take notes. They can write down their areas of concern. Uh, if they just flip that page over, they'll see on the other side, there's a place where they can write down anything they'd like more additional information about. So when you deliver this book to your prospect, you show them that. At the end of each chapter, while it's fresh in your mind, write down your questions. Write down your areas of concern. Let me know anything you want additional information about. And when we get together next week, I'm going to answer all of your questions, address all of your concerns, and I'm going to provide whatever additional information you want. And folks, when you meet with them that next week, it's going to be just as if you have taken them through an IRA distribution planning seminar. So something we started doing uh, not long ago, uh, we allow you now to uh, personalize the book with your photo and bio on the back cover. Now you can see on this one, I'm on the front cover as the author, and it says, this book is provided to you by, and then we can have your photo, logo, contact information, et cetera, all printed on the back cover. There's a one-time setup charge, and this is for the book artwork or the cover artwork. Uh, this is done through Digital Book Designs out of Missouri. These people are really pros. They charge $90 to make that cover, and it's a good price. And I'm going to show you a few more examples of this as we're going through. Uh, uh, here's one that's come, coming up right now uh, where we put his logo at the bottom. So we have his photo, his contact information, uh, three short paragraphs about what he does in his industry, and his logo at the bottom, Safe Money Alliance. Now, for those of you that are securities licensed, uh, we've done our homework uh, with, with the uh, FINRA. And what FINRA has told us, if you are securities licensed, we're required to put your securities disclaimer right down here at the bottom. So we say securities, et cetera, offered through so-and-so, et cetera. It's, it's typically a one-sentence disclaimer. Incidentally, we have not had one broker dealer or RIA platform uh, refuse to approve this book for prospecting purposes. What they're mainly concerned about is that your, your bio is compliant and you have your securities disclaimer at the bottom. Uh, here's another version. Uh, this young man wanted to have his uh, full photo on the back of the book, and I thought it looked really good. You can see at the bottom it's got his as seen on NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox News, etc. We sell these books in cases of 50 with the custom cover, and the reason for 50 is because it's at 50, we can print them at a good price. Uh, it gives you a cost of roughly $9.45 a book. Case of 50 books is $530.50. That includes shipping. So when you take out the shipping and you divide divide by 50, you're going to be right at 9.45 per book, depending upon what the actual shipping charges were. And incidentally, the book retails for 19.95. Now I want to show you another cover, and this is kind of interesting. My creative team came to me, and this was a couple of months ago, and they said, David, why do you have to have your photo on the front cover? Don't you think that detracts from the advisor's photo on the back cover? Well, after getting over being offended, I, I looked at two samples. Now, what you're looking at right now is here's the advisor on the back cover, all of his contact information. Here I am on the front cover. Now, watch what happens when we take my photo off the front cover. You're going to notice immediately it attracts more attention to Ron, whose photo is on the back cover. It's still now we're not we are not in any way insinuating co-authorship. Uh, this is. This is it's, it's why it always says provided by in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to go back again. I want to show you what it looks like with my photo, because it's your choice, uh, with my photo on the front cover. And then look at the contrast when we take my photo off the front cover and look how much more attention uh, it attracts to the advisor. There we go. So moving forward, uh, the, the complete IRA 401k rollover system really is in two components. Uh, one is the book, Top 10 IRA Mistakes, is referred to a seminar in a book. And the other is to give you that baseline training so that when you're sitting across the table from that prospect and they ask you a tough question, 
you're going to have the answer, and you're going to have the techniques, simple ones based on logic, things that they can understand that will cause them to act. Also, there's 10 hours of online IRA distribution training, and that's the course Keys to the IRA Kingdom. <clears throat> so I'm going to walk through, you that, or through that with you very quickly. The Keys to the IRA Kingdom is now online, on demand. Uh, you can learn the techniques of IRA rollover success from the comfort of your office. It is smartphone and iPad compatible. Uh, I host the online training, the entire 10 hours of it. It goes a little bit slower than we're going today because we have more time. It's broken down into five two-hour modules. You can move back and forth. You can fast forward. You can pause. You can rewind. You can listen to the same information as many times as you need to completely absorb it. So the uh, online class, you can now attend to the Keys to the IRA Kingdom online at your own pace. And you're going to have access to the online training room 24-7. Which means, and, and, I, and I see this, when somebody logs on to the training room, I get a report. And I've seen people logging on at 1 a.m. Sunday morning, uh, just some really odd times. So whatever time works well so that you can plan your training time around your prospecting and selling time. Now, after you register for the course, I'm going to show you how to do that for a moment. And we're going to talk also about the books. Uh, within 24 hours after registration, unless it's on a weekend, it's going to be the weekend plus 24 hours, you're going to receive an email from my IT department. And the head, header in that email or the subject line is, your keys to the IRA Kingdom training room is open. When you open the email up, it's going to look something like this. There's going to be a link right here. It's the link to the training room. And you'll be given a username and a password. And ladies and gentlemen, you can begin training immediately. Now, after you order the course, approximately five days later, all of your training materials are going to arrive in the mail. And that includes an IRS publication 590. It's highlighted, indexed, and tabbed. So for example, if you want to prove to somebody that beneficiaries of a trust may not get separate account treatment, which is really important. I'm not going to get into that, but it can double the amount of money paid out. You go to tab 38, page 10, and there it is, highlighted and underlined. You also, so, so that the experience isn't one where you're having to write as fast as you can. We've provided uh, 70 pages of pre-taken type notes with all the graphics, all of the charts, and all of the sales techniques that you will learn in this course of IRA distribution planning. So I want to get down to the price. And we're going to make you a special offer. And actually, the reason why we're doing this, uh, when Insurance WebEx, one of the best online training, webinar training uh, companies in America, when they sponsor this course, they cut a very good deal for you. Normally, the co cost of the course is $12.95. However, everybody on this broadcast, because this is sponsored by Insurance WebEx, will receive a 50% discount. Now, you might want to write this down. I'm going to give you the promotional code, then I'll show you how to use it. The promotional code in capital letters is KEYS50, all caps, no spaces. Keys 50. When you type that into the promotional code box, what will happen when you go to the next page, you'll see the cost drop from $12.95 to $647.50, exactly one half of the normal cost of the course. So right now, I'm going to show you how to use that Keys 50 promo code. It starts with this web address, and please write this down. Uh, just type in, in, in your search bar. Uh, IRAKeys.com or www.IRAKEYS.com. I'll leave that up for a second. www.IRAKEYS.com. I'll be giving that to you again in a moment. When you go to that uh, website, this is what you're going to find. You'll see my picture in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, right below here, you'll see the, the red... Uh, button that says register for course or online course register now so you just click on that this page will come up it'll always show quantity one it, this is the normal price 1295 you notice here it says enter promo code on next page so you just leave it like it is quantity one click add to cart and it'll take a second for it to pop up once you add it to the cart then right down here below the blue lettering you type in, in capital letters, K-E-Y-S-5-0. <clears throat> now, this next step is very important because this is when I get a lot of calls and emails about. And the email says, the promo code didn't work. Once you type in Keys 50, this is very important. See this little yellow promo code button? You have to click that to set the promo code. So you click that, and then take you to the next page. It'll show that it took 647.50 off the price. 
your total checkout is going to be six forty seven fifty, and there's usually about fifteen or twenty dollars of postage, and that's for shipping your training materials. And from there, folks, you just click proceed to checkout. Also, uh, check your email. Uh, sometime within the next forty eight hours, you're going to receive an email, and it's going to be a, the ebook top ten IRA mistakes in a, in a PDF format so that you have the opportunity to, you can scan it, peruse it, or read it cover to cover. It's about a three-hour read, and just kind of get used to it. We provide that at no cost. <clears throat> so anyhow, uh, I, first of all, I want to thank you all for being on again. We did come in at about 37 minutes, so we're doing good on time. If you want additional information about the Keys to the IRA Kingdom online IRA distribution training course, or you want to know more about getting the book Top 10 IRA Mistakes and How to Avoid IRA Tax Traps, with your photo, bio, logo, contact information on the cover. There is my contact information. I'm David F. Royer. My direct line is 214-705-0124. Or if you prefer to email, you can email me at david at irakeys.com. David at irakeys.com. Oh, and remember, to get to my website, it's just irakeys. Dot com. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being on today, and, and I hope we're, you know, we're, we're just now getting ready to uh, finish up the first half of 2017. Folks, I'm going to wish you the best year in your career in 2017. Give me a call, send me an email, let me know if I can help. Have a wonderful day, and thank you again for being on.